All right, we got Gregory. Now we're talking. Hey, we got Foster. We got Ross. Now we're talking, guys. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. We should probably do our scouting. So we only have sixth and seventh round picks. Probably gonna have to spend them on a kicker. And a punter. Max Duffy with the first round grade. Um, scout some of these lower level linemen. All right, we are up to 20 players on the roster. No, Didi, that we just can't compete with that. He is getting tons of money. So we're gonna lose Didi, that sucks. Gonna lose Talk. It does give us a lot of cap space though. Okay, we're gonna lose Josh Gordon. I'm gonna increase Darius Geis' offer here. He's at least orange. I wanna make sure these guys are at least orange across the board. Pruitt. All right, screw you. Ward, we'll circle back to that. Raglan is being stubborn. Hollins, let's go. I mean, he, he very well might start for us, so let's increase that. Kevin White, I like that suggestion. All right, we're gonna lose Spillane. Tyree Jackson's being a big baby. All right, well, let's just go back through the rounds here. And remind ourselves So we haven't gotten a running back yet, but uh, let's go back down to Tyree Jackson. Okay, he's orange at least. P. Ryan's orange, Geis is orange. Yep, UDFA will definitely be a big part of our uh, action here. Oh, John Kelly. You know we got to get John Kelly. This is my guy. All right, receiver. We got John Ross, but we definitely need to come in here. Kenny Stills is an Oklahoma guy. He'll be our D.D. Westbrook veteran signing. And then uh, I do like the Kevin White idea. Greg Ward's being a little stubborn here, but I think we can still get him. And then, yeah, let's see. Where's, where's Kevin White down here? Might not even show up. There he is. All right. Um, Jordan Reed doesn't have any offers. He's a great scheme fit. If, uh, if we can get him, let's get him. Someone that's available because of injury risk. These edge guys are being kind of stubborn, but we've still got these two offers. Try Nick Vigil at outside linebacker. That could work. Where's... Six two two thirty nine. 
Doesn't really have the pass rushing skill set though. Roby and Hill is not bad for our starters, and then I think we'll get we'll get these guys. I can increase the offer on Carl Joseph a little bit because he he was offended by that offer. All right. Here we go. Tell me something good. All right. We got some pieces. Um, let's put this all together. So we still need to add about 30 players here. But let's see what we walked away with. And we should probably note who we missed out on as well before we do that just so i can uh i think that's next stage they do the recap so let's see what we walked out of there with we do have heineke let's go ahead and edit heineke while we're here we're gonna boost him we're gonna boost his rating based on what we saw against uh the bucks in the playoffs Showed some good athletic traits. Bump all this up just a little bit. Showed a pretty good arm. It's really good in the middle of the field. Good throwing on the move. Break sack definitely got to go up. So that puts him at 64. Let's drop that just a little bit. 63. I know, these Jays are sweet. All right, 63 overall for Heineke. I think that's fair. So we do get Geis and DeAndre Washington. No fullback. We're sitting here with just John Ross and Josh Doxson, those freaking receivers, stubborn. So we'll have to definitely go after receiver. We did get Jordan Reed, Dan Arnold, Ross Duelli. We got a good tight end room. We get Kalecki Assemble. The guards, we don't get any of those interior guys we wanted other than Kalecki. So we get the veterans, but um, So left hand left end is our power rush scheme fit. I actually want Lowry to be developed as a run defense guy because we have other guys that are going to be more of that power rush archetype and then we got Gregory will be moved to I think left end is our speed rusher um, archetype what uh, what number does Gregory wear isn't it like 40 50, I forget what number he wears for Dallas but because he's a linebacker, I'm going to give him. He wears 94. All right, well, uh, I'm going to give him 99. Roy Robertson Harris is going to be the power rusher. I actually like, he's going to be good. And then we got our nose tackles here. Malik Collins, I'm going to switch him over to um, left end because he's actually pretty good as a power rusher. PJ Hall, Tershawn Wharton's going to be a run defending right end. Shikovis, where do I think... Juju ends up. I think Juju ends up either Washington or the New York Jets. All right, D-line is not so bad. We have to let Quan go as soon as we can. So we got Ruben, who I'm really excited about. We got Kiko. I'll probably start a Landon Roberts and Kiko will be the backup. 
We got Hollins is going to start. Okay, right outside linebacker is actually the speed rusher. So let's actually put Hollins at left. And flip Gregory over to the other side. This side is power rusher, which is kind of that... That's the one part of this scheme that doesn't exactly match up. That's more of our um, going to be our our true hybrid outside linebacker will be what's what's regarded as the power rusher. And then at corner, we ended up getting Shannon Sullivan. We got Artie Burr. Our corner room is actually not so bad. Um, we're ready there. We didn't get those vets. We got Carl Joseph, but we did not get the McCordy bro to play free safety. So we need we need some free safety help. This will be on TFG Plays. Ice Blaze, thank you for asking. All right, so obviously still a lot of work to do, but let's keep this thing going. Um, scouting, I'm gonna scout receiver. I'm gonna scout free safety. We've already got this receiver class pretty well documented actually, but we're gonna go ahead and scout undrafted guys as well. Cool. So I want to take note kind of of who we missed out on. So we missed out on... I'm just going to like take take some pictures of this for reference because I might want to come back to these guys in the preseason so I just want to make sure I have these as reference these are the jerks that decided not to play for us and uh, we'll see what they're asking for in the preseason but there's a chance I end up editing some of those deals I look like a dad trying to take a selfie. Uh, I will be playing every game, play the moment style. Knight, knight the horn. All right, let us start drafting. Uh, we cannot trade up. Now I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let EA's garbage draft logic run its course here. Zach Wilson, the surprise number one pick. And the Jets go Trevor Lawrence. Hey, that's fun. <sighs> Pretty good draft so far. Broncos get fields. All right, I've seen enough. I don't think the Falcons taking Jamar Chase is the most ridiculous thing ever. Okay. Time to make our pick. Anthony Schwartz is available with the top pick. I mean, that's a good way to start, right? Can't really go wrong there. It's the biggest need. Just get some speed in the building. And uh, we actually have the next pick here. So we need... <laughs> Rashawn Slater falls. I mean, I haven't updated Rashawn Slater yet. Um, that would be considered a plummet. But let's just let's just do it. Stuff happens. And he's actually pretty good. So he'll start at tackle for us.
yeah, we'll look uh, free safety and receiver. It's kind of where it's at here. Could go Brady Breeze out of Oregon. We do need kicker punter. Yep, we'll go. We'll get that. And then there is quarterbacks, but I'm just not about it at this point in time. Our running back room isn't crazy, so like we could go that route, but I don't think we want to draft any running backs right now. Um, we don't have a center yet, so. I'm thinking maybe we didn't scout any of these guys, but Dickerson can't be too bad, right? Oh, he stinks. Oh, well, he's going to have to start. <laughs> Lisa B having Teddy withdraw. We can get, we can get some quick Teddy cam. He's very, very content right now. All right, so I think just contractually, we should probably go with our kicker and punter here because we'll get them cheap for a long time. And uh, we can go Patterson, good job, Scouts, Hidden Dev. And Max Duffy, our best player is kicker punter. We got, we're starting with some good special teams, chat. All right, we're uh, starting to fill out the roster. So we think we still have about 12 players to add. We gotta add actually 17 players. Um, if I have to if I have to edit some of these contracts down, I will. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the guys that we were going for in free agency. I'm gonna try to go through that list and um, I'm gonna kind of work it through so that we, we sign those guys as long as they're still there. If they got signed somewhere else, then great. Um, but let's go ahead to, week one, getting all these guys back. We actually need to, uh, release Quan Alexander now that he's healthy. We don't have his rights. Oh, all right, we gotta wait to do that, apparently. All right, so let's let's go back through that list. So we had... At the top, Mike Daniels. So we can get him. We still have 25 million cap space, so we're doing okay. So we have Mike Daniels, we had Jason McCordy, who we wanted to play at free safety. He's gonna get a little more than we were gonna give him, but that's fine. All right, good start there. We had Nick Needham. Wants a one-year deal. We had Kenny Stills. We should be able to get 2.85. It's a little steep, but we need somebody that can play here. Um, our receiver room still needs some bodies here, but we'll, we'll circle back to that. Um, we had we had Kelvin Beecham on the list, but it looks like he got signed, which is fine. We drafted a tackle. We had Deron Harmon, but since we signed Carl Joseph... And it looks like he's not available anyway. We're good there. We had Samaj P. Ryan. I do want to get him. Way down here. We had Greg Ward at receiver. Should be able to get him. 
Yep, two million, but that's all right. We had uh, Jakeem Grant. Did we sign him? No. I don't know if we need him because we drafted Schwartz and we have John Ross, so I'm going to leave him off for now. Um, we had Demarius Randall on here for a younger safety, sort of. Did he get... Uh, looks like he might have gotten picked up. Looks like he got signed somewhere. Uh, we had Tim Williams, which I definitely want to bring Tim Williams in. But did he get signed? He may have gotten signed. Derek Rivers... Zach Bond's still there. I'm just I'm gonna stay away from Bond for a year. Maybe I bring him in next year. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go instead of Raglan. I'm actually gonna go with Derek Rivers. And then we had Kevin White, Eric Cush, and Rosen. And then we'll look at some um, UDFA's. So we had yep, Eric Cush is there. Great. Yeah, you guys keep saying Corey Coleman in the chat. I don't I haven't seen Corey Coleman's name. He might not be on this roster. Let's see. Oh yeah, he is there. I like that. Go oh, Corey Coleman. Instead of Kevin White. Um and then yeah, Rosen is right there. You're lost, Rosen. You're gonna get less than you could have had. All right, so that leaves us in a much, oh, we can go get uh, Tyree Jackson too and put him at tight end after he was holding out. All right, so let's go through the roster again and see where we can, we're getting close guys, 45 out of 53. All right, Tyree Jackson, you're going to convert to tight end. 6'7", 249. Going to rep Gronk's number. So I'm not going to change his athletic traits, but I am going to change just like his... We're going to tune him to what I think he would be. That probably doesn't need to change. Yeah, his, his change of direction stinks. But yeah, we're going to put his like catching and stuff just kind of very mediocre, but something he can improve upon. Won't change his passing stats. Yeah, pass blocking. Probably wouldn't be all that bad. It's got the size for it. Run blocking, something he definitely needs to work on. Oh yeah, route running. We'll, we'll get that. Not going to be the best route runner. <laughs> Release won't be too shabby here. Oh, geez, he's real bad. Um, let's crank this up just a little bit then. I want him to at least be in the 50s. You see, I'm, I feel like I'm missing a trait here. That's real low. Strength, maybe? No. I feel like he shouldn't be that low. He's not, like, brutal. Weird. Maybe it's glitched. Oh, it's a glitch. You're right. That explains it. Yeah. 
it didn't register some of this stuff. Yep. All right, he's up to a 58. His awareness is, is right where we need it, chat. All right. Um, we got Slater at left tackle. Dickerson at center. I, I think we'll probably go with Dickerson at center, Cush at right guard. Daniel should probably kick over to, uh... yep, well, we're getting there, Nick Flames. We're just taking a look at the roster, and then we'll, uh... Is, uh, is his last name wrong? Oh, I see. Yeah, we can fix that. Thanks for the follow, Red Cat. Thanks for joining the stream. Yep, this is a thanks EA moment. God forbid we write dick on our custom draft classes. Because no one's ever had that as a name. Zebas with the follow. Thank you. APO, if you want to know what we're doing here, I would encourage you just peek over at YouTube. I put a trailer up for what we're doing here on YouTube today. That that will uh, explain it a little bit. All right, can we finally get rid of Quan Alexander? Or probably not yet, huh? Nope. Dang, a lot of you guys coming in with the follows right now. Zeebs with the Twitch Prime, let's go. I gotta give you a John Cena, Zeebs. As soon as these uh, alerts stop coming in. Ruben's getting that captain badge for sure. That's for you, Zeebs. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I'm going to develop Rivers as that sort of um, under linebacker. Uh, I don't need to lower the roster size because I'll be able to I'll be able to get rid of him after we fill out the roster here. So Jason McCourty is going to move to free safety. He's actually going to be one of our better players. Damn, you guys are coming in like follow after follow after follow here. Hail the Bulldog, Blackhawk. So, as far as our needs here, as we look for undrafted free agents, we need... I, I just, I love the way we're set up here, man. We need some O-line depth. I think our D, our D line's pretty good. Um, we could use some linebacker depth both on the edge and... <laughs> Alright, I'll, uh, I'll mute the event sounds for now. You guys are coming in hot with these follows though, I appreciate you guys. Alright, um, all these guys returning from injuries. Let's take a peek at the UDFAs now. And I'll be editing these guys' contracts. So Mackenzie Milton, he's always a classic. But uh, because we know he's hidden dev, I'm, we've gone that route before. I'm going to stay away from that. Um, 
Maybe Ian Book, though, for the practice squad. People like Ian Book in a certain way. Um, running back. Spencer Brown's interesting. Greg McRae is kind of speedy. Honestly, I, I kind of like our running back room. I'm not going to lie. Isaiah Pacheco is interesting. I'll add him. You might get the practice squad, but I'll add him for now. Wide receiver. Austin Trammell out of Rice. Could be an option. Rico Bussy. Theo Howard, who's from Oklahoma. Ooh, I, Lil Jordan Humphrey as a tight end conversion. I kind of like that. Maybe practice squad him for a year as a tight end. And then the other guy I just saw is... Um, Geez, Amir Smith Marset gets doesn't get a team. Who did I? Oh, um, Hill, KJ Hill. It's kind of expensive though, so I'm gonna I'll stay away from that. All right, tight end. I'll probably wait till I can actually just add these guys straight to the practice squad. It's actually probably easier because right now I don't have the cap space to sign all these guys. Um, we need. Oh, Forrest Lamp didn't get signed. That might change our plans. Yeah, Bussy did, he transferred from North Texas to uh, Hawaii. So I'm actually going to move Kush to center. We can't start Landon Dickerson yet. I mean, we can start Kush for a year. And then we're going to go Forest Lamp to right guard. Um, as far as I might reduce the contracts of some of these guys we just picked up. There we go. Quan's gone. I might reduce um, McCordy a little closer to where we were. Our trades allowed. Yes, everything is everything is um, open season, if you will. So I was offering McCordy like 1.8 and he didn't get any other offers. So we're going to reduce that a little bit. And then uh, I think Tyree Jackson should come down a little bit because that should be a league minimum contract for what we're doing with him. And then I think that's probably a little steep for Forrest Lamp based on what we were negotiating with him in the offseason. I'm actually going to make that a two-year deal. And Cross, if you want to know exactly what I'm doing... Head over to my YouTube and uh, find the trailer that I posted today. It should make a lot more sense. That's a three-minute trailer. Okay, so we need one more edge guy. Oh, 
Oh, get Tyree Jackson some gloves. Yeah, good call. And lose the quarterback wristband. There is a Discord. Thank you for asking. What will the Pats do in the offseason in real life? I think they go the veteran route at quarterback or draft Mac Jones and then just try to win next year. These shoes just don't really work with. I like those shoes, but they don't really work with uh, what, we're, what we got going on here. I, yeah, I do think um, Watson to Washington would be an option if Chase Young was involved, yes. And then the other guy I want to reduce the contract of here is Lil Jordan Humphrey because we're going to make him a tight end conversion project here. Slater is low because I have not updated offensive linemen yet, Huff Dillon, but yes, he will be higher. But in this world, he just had a combine departure from <laughs> the top so we're gonna have Humphrey put on some weight here and he's basically going to be a red shirt tight end conversion project if you will and I'm just gonna increase some of his blocking so that he's a little closer to an actual tight end, although he's got a lot of work to do. Although he's actually not bad. But I actually think he could he could play tight end in this scheme, to be honest, so. I'm fine with it. Okay, so now we have a little bit of cap space left to add five more players here. So I think we should add one more interior guy. Connor Olson out of Minnesota. Come aboard. Let's add another edge player here. Teron Rush, Dylan Meeks is intriguing. Michael Pitts. He kind of fits that hybrid look. Oh, Jamar Watson. He's he's an interesting player. I like him. He is definitely fits that scheme fit. Um Maybe add a Pete Warner out of Ohio State for some middle linebacker depth. And then can we get like, is Brady, yeah, Brady Breeze. I do need to edit some of those. Werner is spelled with an E. So who did we, ju who did we just grab? We grabbed Connor Olson. Give him the uh, UDFA contract. We grabbed Pete Werner. So it's actually Werner with an E. I can fix that.
Yes, UDFA contracts absolutely need to be added. Just the ability to negotiate contracts during the season period needs to be a thing. All right. And then we added Brady Breeze. Or we were trying to add Brady Breeze. We moved... Uh, we got Jamar Watson. We need, like, one more actual pass rusher here because we just have Randy Gregory. So let's see if we can add another edge rusher and Brady Breeze. And that should be 53. Hopefully we can squeeze it financially here. Don't have to do too much more editing. And then I am going to take a P. TMI, I know, but... I had a lot of coffee before I sat down for this. Uh, I'm going to take a leak, and i it's kind of risky because we got 290 of you here, um, but I'm worried once I start playing that um, the audio is going to be off because when I was playing the music, like, let me play this music real quick. You guys said it was, like, choppy. Like, let me know. It's not even playing right now. There. You said it. Was, the audio was like choppy. Like, does that sound like crap right now? Yeah. So this is a stupid technical glitch. So I'm going to have to ask all of you guys to... Um, refresh your Twitch when I finish this preseason here um i think i'm gonna go with because i want i don't want the sound to sound like crap i think i'm gonna go with teron rush who can rush the passer a little bit and then brady breeze hopefully we can afford all that hey we got it in so I'm just going to edit these guys' contracts. I should get Nathan Peterman. We've we've gone the Nathan Peterman route here on Twitch, so I'm going to stay away from that for now. Give these guys their UDFA contracts. Slide Teron Rush over to right outside. This is gonna be fun, guys. This is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take some as we go. I'm gonna take some liberties with like. You guys have seen how I do like my player reviews. Like, if someone overperforms, I'll... I'm going to take some liberties in this series with development, because this game's development system is just absolute garbage. Um, so I'm going to take some liberties here there. I'll keep it realistic. You guys you guys trust me with, uh, you know, giving these guys the correct ratings based on how they play. Um, that's kind of the point of the series, is just see who, who we can step up. But we're not going to go crazy with it, but we'll keep it... Um, you know, we'll keep it, we'll keep it realistic. We'll keep it manageable. Um, let's pick our focus players, load up the practice squad, and then, so I'm going to go with Josh Rosen. I'm going to go with, I think Rashawn Slater is smart. And I think, Foster's a little bit older. I think Holton Hill is going to be another kind of cornerstone guy here that I'm excited for. Uh, so those will be the focus players for now. Got upgrades already. But we're going to get to week four where we can fill out the practice squad. We do have, this was part of the reason we signed veterans here was to uh, 
get the mentorships. We're going to go power pass blocking. What are my thoughts on the Saints keeping Jameis? I mean, it might be their best option. I think if they're going the route of, like, let's try to bring back as many good players as possible and try to win next year, that might be their best bet. But the problem is they're already paying Taysom Hill a bunch of money, and uh, I don't know how cheap Jameis is going to be. I, there might be a market for... There might be a market for Jameis. So that helped Slater develop there. And then we got Kenny Stills, who wants to develop Anthony Schwartz. I mean, that's great. We're going to go getting open deep. That's a great mentorship program there. Thanks, Kenny. We did pick up an injury. Washington for three weeks, not uh, not too bad at all. Should be back for early season. All right, preseason week four. So we have our fifty-three man roster, but we're gonna we're gonna fill out our practice squad. Wow, Paris Campbell available. Too bad we can't afford them. All right, so we're going to practice squad Ohio, um, Ohio State, all of them. Uh, Dwayne Haskins, you're going to make the practice squad. I like that. Running back. How about Xavier Jones? SMU. Wide receiver. How about... Amika Amezia. And Austin Trammell, who we were we were thinking about. Slot receiver type. Tight end. Trey McKitty. Left tackle. Jeez, Andre Dillard gets cut. I mean, we can't afford him, but I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the most insane thing for the Eagles to cut him if he was really just couldn't stay healthy. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how we're going to be able to afford him, but. We, we got to get Dillard. We got to find a way to get him. I mean, that's too good. What can we do here? Um, Greg Ward, maybe? I feel like it's got to be one of the receivers. We could get, let Kenny Stills go. He served his purpose. We got Ross and Schwartz. Kenny Stills served his purpose. He did his mentorship. See you, Stills. Thanks for uh, thanks for your service, but uh, brighter horizons have ar arisen. Um, I might kick Slater into guard, guys. Or yeah, Dillard's Dillard's got to be a tackle, but uh, let's grab Dillard. That's a steal. So, I know we want Slater to start. He's 6'3", though. I mean, he's 6'3". That's pretty, that's pretty much a no-brainer. Let's just move him in. Smart guy from Northwestern. Could, we, could he play some... Should we teach him to play some center? Make him a guard, maybe, and go... Um, Forest Lamp at center, maybe? I feel like that's maybe more real realistic. Go Slater to right guard. And Lamp to center. Slater played all over the line in real life. Does he have experience at center? 
If Slater has experience at center, I kind of like that. Let me um, let me pull up the old PFF database. Uh, Sean Slater. All right, all left tackle in 2019, all right tackle in 2018, and all right tackle. So he's only played um, left tackle, right tackle. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go with Lamp at center. I think that's that's more. Um, more realistic. Slater went up to a 67 at guard. I mean, that's not bad at all, guys. Lamp is an upgraded center. Got to work on that awareness a little bit, but... We still got to add... Fill out the practice squad. I think Teddy also has to go to the bathroom. Ooh, bless one, Austin. We can't, uh, we can't sign all these guys. We just don't have the flexibility but uh Kevin Jarvis is flexible so is Alex Palchuski I do work for PFF. Let's grab Peyton Turner from Houston. He's kind of a hybrid defensive end type. Oh, Malcolm Roach. I want Malcolm Roach on the squad. But uh, we'll, we'll practice squad him for now. But I, I might have to make some moves to get uh, Malcolm Roach around here. DeAndre Walker can play. Hybrid outside linebacker if we need him. All right, Zach Bond. I'm going to I'm gonna put Zach Bond in the practice squad, and if he doesn't get signed the whole year, he'll make the team next year. If his market is that thin, we'll, uh, we'll make that happen next year. I'm going to, let's see, go to... I am still holding that P in because I want to get through this and then. All right, let's let uh, Xavier Jones go. Who cares about running backs? All right. Um, who are we going to sign? Oh, Bond. Bond to the practice squad. There's the practice squad, chat. Last order of business. Captains. So, we're going to start Rosen. He's got an upgrade. He's going to be a captain. I kind of want to give him number 10 as like a revenge for going, like to remind everyone he went 10th overall. Kind of put a chip on his shoulder a little bit. So we're going to give Rosen number 10. Fix Ian Book's contract. Thank you. I do need to do that. Yes, Mike Daniels needs to be a captain, 100%. Kenny Stills should have been a captain, but... Sorry, Kenny. We needed... We needed that cap space. None of the running backs. Pacheco's going to make the team. J 
Jordan Reed is tempting, but I'm not convinced on that. I think um, Gilbert was a mentor. We'll make him a captain. Hopefully he can stay healthy. And then, yep, Mike Daniels. Yep, the McCordy bro. Absolutely. We got Ruben Foster already. But we'll go uh we'll go the McCordy bro. And uh, that last captain's badge, someone's just going to have to earn it. All right, so we got upgrades when we come back. Uh, again, guys, just refresh it. I'm not going anywhere, but because of a technical issue, I need to reboot it. It's not going to send out notifications because Twitch is weird like that. But uh, do not worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to reboot the software and the music will be good. Um, or the game, the game audio will be good, really. Uh, so just refresh it. Don't go anywhere. There's 272 people right now. If there is less than 250 people, I'm going to be pissed. You guys letting me down. Bailing because you're too, too lazy to refresh your Twitch. Don't do that to me. <laughs> we'll see you guys in literally 60 seconds.